any beginning stages because everything just started just growing from there. So was you was you ever at a place where you was like, well, I'm done with this. I'm going to screw it. Yeah, man, I'll tell you, you know, I mean, when I when I first started recording, mm -hmm. I was like, this is different. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is different. That 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 studio will, will tell the truth on you, you know, and I was just like, dang, I don't know. You know, yeah, I don't know how this because I, I originally recorded Vintage Love in 2008 Ooh. or 2000 yeah 2008 but no you know, no fro people no no <laughs> just, yeah, just, no just, a, just a small cut yeah, a, little, a little baby yeah little, just a little short crop we do you know? we do our research here <laughs> you so, know that that photo shoot all that yeah. time man that was in 2008 man. He, he took 100, he 190 pounds he <laughs> took he took that picture with a calculator yeah. <laughs> right right <laughs> That was a, that, was a, that was a that was a terrible filter, but hey, we got through it. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, that's crazy. No, but man, I'm telling you, that that first record, I was like, man, this is this is a lot harder, you know, yeah. especially being in the studio. But man, you know, just staying at it. And so what I did, I did the record, recorded it, man, and it just didn't come out the way I wanted it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I don't know if I I have to practice. I I, I gotta you know get better. And so um, that next year, I just kind of took my time, re went through the tunes, fixed the stuff that I like, mm -hmm. got it to where at least where I wanted it, and then and then released it. But this just told myself, you know what, you know, there's sometimes at, at some point you just gotta say, hey, you gotta go, you gotta look in the mirror and mm -hmm. say, hey, I gotta do better. Yeah, I, I gotta do better. Yeah. And, and, and don't get me wrong. I think this can happen in, in, in multiple parts in your career too. Mm -hmm. You yeah. gotta say, and 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 in multiple ways, you know, uh, you just gotta sit down and say, "Hey, man, I, I can do better. I gotta do better. I gotta do, do the best I can." When you perform live now, do you still do tunes off of Vintage Love? Uh, man, that's a good question. I mean, every now and then, every now and then, you know what's funny? This is a funny story. So that concert I told you about in Belarus, they had the lights in the stage. Mm -hmm. The guy who produced that concert. Pick my set list. Oh wow! Really weird. Not and normally I'm like, nah, I ain't really want that. But actually, it was a it was an interesting experience because he's a producer, and um, it was it was interesting to see what. So I kind of sat back. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna even trip. I would like to see what he what he thinks is good, you know. And so he chose certain tunes, and I was kind of like, he chose a couple of vintage love tunes, and then he chose some off Black Privilege and okay. off almost every record. And, you know, I guess he chose the tunes that he felt like would fit best. And then mm -hmm. he, he, he kind of, whatever he didn't choose, whatever he didn't, we had a 90-minute set, so whatever originals. He, he plucked a couple covers, and I think we did, um, the covers we did, uh, um, Thrill is Gone, and then we did Treasure by Bruno Mars oh, okay. randomly, you know. And so, uh, but everything else was originals, and it was just interesting to see. But he chose Snowflakes off, okay. of, off of Vintage Love, and okay. then uh, he chose another one. I think uh, wouldn't give us up. I think that, you know, and I always that's my baby. You mm -hmm. know, that's the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I and it's funny, man, because I think about it. I know I was still young then, and it was still a different time. I've improved, got better at recording, performing, everything, you know. Perspective, different yeah, experiences, different, yeah. all of that. And so, but I still look back at that record, I'm like, you know, I, I leave it up, because I, you know, it's just kind of a moment, that was my first, you know. Well, you know what a lot a lot of cats do now, a lot of cats will, uh, uh, Boys to Men did it, they did it on their, uh, I don't know if it was the 20th record or 20th anniversary, uh -huh. but they, uh, Boys to Men, they, came, uh, they had a, um, uh, they had a project called Twenty. Uh huh. Yeah. They did, and uh -huh. so and it was like a it was a double sided joint, mm. and they and so they went and they went back and redid all of the old you know yeah. end of the road, uh, all it. But then um, the other I side of it, it, the other side of it was the uh, was new tunes. Uh huh. But they went back and redid all of those old. Man, I want to do that so bad. Would you? Would you? Would so? Oh, yeah. 